Um, firstly, I think I just want to say that the, the this talk is called Harnessing Creativity. The, the title was created and thought up by one of our students and two, two students who are giving a talk today. And I just wanted to welcome a <coughs> welcome from me and from the course to uh, obviously our two speakers, our two um, student speakers, uh, the, the tutors that we've got. We've got quite a lot of uh, potential internal uh, and external tutors. Uh, I think potentially uh, Cheadle, maybe Katie, Liz, Fiona, Bettina, you could all be watching through one screen and, uh, and, and um, presenting it to your classes. And I think, I think that, well, that has been the plan for some of you. So also um, thank you to the first years, second years and third years who have come in. It's, it's lovely to have your support. And I, I think the uh, students appreciate that especially. Can you, um, is this music too loud now? Shall I, shall I turn this on mute? Just thinking, can you hear me? <laughs> Um, nobody's complained so far, so fair enough. Um, also, to to any management that we've got coming coming in, I know um, external. We want to say uh, hello and thank you for coming to any external courses, um, and any other interested persons. Okay, <clears throat> so as I mentioned, this course is called Harness and Creativity. It's been given by two of our first years who've only been with us for a couple of months, and uh, they they joined the course from from varying varying places. And on the course of graphic design and advertising, we, you know, we aim here to, to create a, a very close relationship with our students. The course has a pedigree of over 30 years this course has been running. And you know, we have alumni in places like uh, McCann, Kin and Carter, working in Vogue, the Flavor People, uh, Publicist Sapien, uh, national and international students all the way over in Australia. We, um, we, we even have uh, alumni that have set up actual uh, companies such as Ahoy, set up by one of our uh, alumni. Um, we've got self-employed in, in the alumni. Um, and so, you know, quite a lot of, quite, quite a, a variety of things going on with, uh, with the alumni and um, with the pedigree of the course. The, we're going to concentrate predominantly here on the first couple of months. So the work you're going to be looking at is work just coming out of sort of A-level or uh, B-tech uh, um, or with mature students that, that could be from, from any background. Um, the, the first year is, um, it's, it's a creative experience really, uh, but with some pretty heavy units involved. So we're looking at um, branding, typography, uh, advertising, and research units, and creative exploration units. And these units are all designed sort of to kind of work together. And the students you're going to speak to have actually only engaged on, I think, uh, two, two units mainly, and um, the first part of another unit. So these units all sort of work together to help give a, a rounded creative experience, and also to educate the students on a range of different ways of thinking and uh, ways of looking at the world, both currently for the future and, and importantly, what's, what's been and gone, because that really does shape who we are now. Um, I think I should really introduce the students properly. Uh, I, I think uh, we have Freya and Jacob. Um, if you'd like to say hello, Freya. Hello, my name's hello, Freya. Freya, nice to meet you. Could you tell us where you studied, Freya, before you came onto the course, please? Um, so I'm an inter student, so I studied at the Manchester College before on a foundation right. art and design course. I kind of forget people's backgrounds once I've been working with them for like, a, you know, even like a couple of months, and I'm like, just completely forget. Um, yeah, so I, 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 I think uh, the Fiona's course, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no. And uh, then Jacob? I, uh, you're right. And you joined us as a mature student, didn't you, Jacob? Yeah, I, uh, I basically did three years of college and then uh, I was out of education for a few years and then eventually um, found my way through this course. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. 
Um, and we've got Alex, I think, um, Alex Jackson, who teaches two of the units that, or certainly leads on two of the units and teaches them two of the units that we're going to be looking at here. Um, okay. And we'll introduce some of these units. So, and I, I believe we're going to start with, um, with you, Alex, and I'll, I'll share my screen so that we're looking at Freya's work. Is, is there anything else I need to cover before we do that? No, couldn't have put it just myself. Thanks, okay. Alex. So let's, let's share that over and go into full screen on, on that. And I think this is the first piece of work we're looking at, and it's centered around a unit called uh, Professional Academic Development. So uh, over to you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Um, hello, everybody, again, and thank you for coming. So, as Alex has mentioned, in semester one, our first year students work on three individual units. Um, you may also know the term units of briefs or projects. Um, the, the first semester units are professional and academic development, which is a research and contextual studies unit, visual literacy, and branding. Um, now today Freya and Jacob have kindly volunteered to discuss their experience on the course so far. We're talking probably 10 to 12 weeks approximately, so um, thank you for that. And very bravely they're going to show some of their work that they've been doing so far. Um, so without further ado, um, so Freya I can see here that you've chose the postcards task. Can you tell us a little bit about the unit and the task please? Yes, yeah, so I've, I've chosen I chose to show the postcard task just to show people how just because PAD is a research based unit, we tend to do the research in lots of different ways. Like, for example, with the postcards, it was putting ourselves back into the time of the modernist era um, with people that pretending you're someone that's seeing these things for the first time things nowadays we don't second think or guess we just know that they're just there um so yeah it's just interesting to it just furthers your knowledge into thinking about how people actually were around that time and why things came about the way they did and how people had reacted to it thank you <laughs> So what key things um, are you learning through work on this unit, Freya? Um, I'd, I'd say with, with, with modernism, it's, it, it is very interesting to know what came before and why things are the way they are now. Um, for, for example, we went to talk about a lot of like the architecture and just your furniture in your house and how everything has developed from that period of time. Excellent, thank you. And do you think work in this unit is helping support um, other areas like your more creative or technical unit? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, when we go on to the visual literacy, um, it's it's helped make the research flow easier. Like it's just came out of pad into everything else. I understand where to go for this research and why it's important and why it it just mixes together nicely. <laughs> Thank you. That, well, that's music to my ears from a tutor's point of view. Jacob, have you got anything you'd like to add about this particular unit or task? Um, yeah, I really enjoy um, learning about modernism. Like before now, mm. like I have no background with art. Like the last time I did it was in like year nine. So like uh, coming back to it and then like actually learning about like uh, like the history of it is so interesting. It, it, it's just it, it's it's a good subject. And do you feel like your work in other areas is improving as a result of? Oh yeah, definitely. Like because um, we've been learning how to research and like those skills, and then I can implement them in my other research tasks with the other subjects. Thank you. Thanks, guys, for your feedback. Um, I think next we're going to look at some work from the visual literacy unit, Freya. Alex, could I uh, can can I butt in quickly? Of course you can. Yes. <laughs> you know I like to. The that the um, on this postcard because you have to remember I haven't actually seen all this work in detail. Um, that postcard has got an old stamp on it. Is that right? 
Yeah, it, it's yeah. stamp um, for because I've done three postcards. I tried to get, I tried to find a stamp from that time period. Wow. Um, each for each one, just as a nice little touch. That, yeah. is, a bit, that is a nice little people. touch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Part of the project was that students had to date the time as well. So when they were seeing this um, architecture or um, when they were seeing these movements unfold. So yeah, it's a nice little bit of attention to detail there. Well spotted. <laughs> um, I think next on the list, we've got some work from the Visual Literacy Unit, Freya, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Have you got that, Alex? Of course. Oh, more, more stamps. Love it. Lovely. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, go on. Sorry, can we have the visual literacy work, Alex? Oh, do you not want to look at the rest of the, this? Sorry, this is just a couple more um, postcards that, that she's done. We can move straight on to the visual literacy if you like. I, I'm just, I'm reading some of this. Um, yeah, very quickly, like the, the Ford one was about like Fordism and how um, mass production was very new at the time and how things became a bit more cheap to buy. And, and the, go on, sorry. No, and just the other ones after the World War One, where people thought things should be better, but everything's still pretty bleak. <laughs> I'm, I'm the dear Isabel. I'm afraid I'm writing to you with no good news. <laughs> Although the war has ended, we are still fighting. Still all fighting. Lovely. Yeah, it's, re it's really, it's really nice. Sorry, I just, uh, just. It's difficult not to comment on the on the, the lovely things that you see. Shall I move down then? Thank you. You got lost in the postcards. Mm. <laughs> lovely. Um, almost stark contrast when we flick from one slide to another or one screen to another here. Um, this is very, this is much more organic, this work. And this is, um, I presume, for the visual literacy unit, Freya. Could you give us a little bit of background information about the visual literacy unit and then how you're going about your sketchbook? Uh, yeah, so in our visual literacy unit, we focus a lot on typography and being creative and working outside of the computer first, like very experimental. And the sketchbook is a great medium to show, to show all of that, of course. But um, yeah, it's a lot of play. It's a lot of just trying to figure things out. Um, if you'd like me to move down page fair, I will do, yeah. Yeah. So, so this, sorry, this, um, this part of the sketchbook is for our current brief, um, which is a live brief for the Arden Theatre, which is a poster. Um, so this, this is just my sketchbook and how I've went, I just wanted to show the progress of how I've got to where I am at the end and where it all starts with the research, which came from PAD as well. Um, look through some of the pages then please Alex. Yeah, absolutely yeah. yeah just what are these references? There's a bit more research this is um because the client brief is Tim Burton inspired I went on to research in German expressionist films which Tim Burton was inspired by um yeah a bit about cabaret and then a mind map of my ideas it's colour coded, but I haven't put a nice one. And yeah, that's, sorry, they've not scanned in very well, but that's just my initial ideas for the poster. How, how I might go um, about it. Can I just chip in and ask you, like, because this is it's quite, this is um, a client brief that I just look after f with you, isn't it? And I, I know from experience every time students do this with, um, with the Arden that, the experience is, is, is maybe a little unsettling because it's very difficult to know what you're creating. Yeah, and a lot of people think don't they, that, that the poster comes always after the performance, whereas in drama, that's not, that's not always the case. And so you've, got, you've only got a couple of points of reference to work with. Is that right? Yeah, so when we had our client review, obviously we went through all of our work and that, that was really helpful to understand what the client actually wanted like what his thoughts were on how to present the poster. And Freya, can I ask, obviously you're in the first year or in the first semester and we're 
um, 10 to 12 weeks in when you started this particular part of the unit. And you've mentioned that you're working with a live client on a live project with a view to these um, final versions being used for the actual performance. How does that feel at this stage of your development to be put in front of a client so soon? Uh I mean, at first it, it was quite a big shock, even though we saw, we should we knew when we started, but it's it's very exciting. It's it's getting that real experience that you're gonna have to get used to talking in front of clients and doing live briefs. So it, yeah, it's it's quite exciting. And same question to you, Jacob. How how are you feeling? Um, it, it's cool. I've I've never worked like this before uh, in school and like. Obviously, it puts more pressure on you, but with that comes, like, um, excitement as well because, like, you're speaking to, like, someone in the real world. It's not your teacher or anyone. Like, it's someone who doesn't know anything about the industry and you have to, like, sort of convince them. It's just cool. I've never done anything like it before. Excellent. Thank you, guys. One of the reasons that I, I think a live client is quite important is because you don't want to be in a situation where, you know, um, you don't necessarily want to be in a situation where the, the tutors are judging everything by what's happened last year. Um, and so by having live clients, we, we get fresh new um, projects that the, the, the tutors don't know all the answers for. And so it's a, it's a joint sort of exploration. Um, and then that, that gives students a chance to sort of understand how tutors might tackle a brief and how students might manage a brief rather than the, the tutors simply deferring back to, um, for example, what was done last year, <laughs> if you see what I mean. So yeah, this, uh, can, can I ask what is going on here, Freya? How has this been done? What are we looking at? Um, if you flick back, <laughs> which, which element are you talking about? The picture, I'm assuming. But this poster that we're looking at, the, the whole thing, this. Okay, um, but, but this is my first attempt at because I took the pictures and I've edited the images. I just wanted to see what it looked like with text on the whole image rather than cropping it down to space for the text and a space for the heading. Um, How did you actually do it? I mean, what you know? Where did this girl come from? Where did this character? That's me. <laughs> right, and so where uh, did you do that? Uh, hmm. Sorry. Where did you shoot that? I, sh I shot this in college on Monday <laughs> right. in the photo studio. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That's what you were doing in there. Right. Yeah. Okay. yeah. okay. Thank you. Yeah. So it's that you're yeah. bringing together a lot of elements. Yeah. So before I started the course, I was, I always liked photography and, and, and it's, it's nice that I can ca carry, bring that into it as well. Sure. Into my briefs. Thank you, Freya. Um, we're going to move on to um, some of Jacob's work. Um, if, before we do, does anybody have any questions at this point about the work that they've seen? Um, and and I, you know, I can I can pop back. There may be you know you can put some questions in the chat if if in the chat if you like. Maybe that Freya has answered all of your questions. Any chats, Paolo? No questions yet. Okay. These, uh, I do like these postcards. Sorry, there is one question. Sorry, Miss Katie. Um, Freya, what was the main inspiration behind the poster? Oh. Poster at the bottom, yeah. Yeah, if you go back two slides yeah there it is so there's my main point of inspiration in the top right which is tim burton's sketch yeah um and, and this is the is this the work this is you shooting yeah that's the setup and like i did a little sketch at the bottom just to show where everything was because i got to take a picture of that um, can I just ask, Freya, looking at these two pages side by side, um, obviously I know I know the process you went through, but 
the direction that your model, your characters are looking in, and then if you look at the lines on the left, can you talk about the sort of the thought process between them two pages there? Did one lead um, to another, you know, when you was like, you said here, line poster design, because it seems to both be working in the same way, the actual one you're creating, and then your workings out on the line poster. Ah! Can we um, make, um, Paolo, could we maybe mute one of the participants, please? Um, but the, the line posters were from when we were... I wrote about it a bit beforehand, but it was more about how line can show movement and be on its own, just a, a, like lines showing some emotion. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's directly impacted or maybe subconsciously impacted my next step. I'm not sure. Um, looks like it. Yeah, just looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> some similarity. Thank you very much, Freya. We'll, um, we will be calling, obviously, calling on your input as well when we talk about um, Jacob's work. Um, but thank you very much for that. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Jacob, can you hear me all right? Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, lovely. Okay. Um, now, this is, um, as, as if, if I remember correctly, th this is some, some typographical exercises that we start with. Is that, is that right? Yeah, yeah. This is one of the first tasks that um, we actually did because um, we, we go in on Fridays and that's our only day in college. So this was like one of the first times we did that. And I thought um just wanted to do a bunch of different posters and like just try out everything, basically. Um, this this is in my sketchbook, um, but sorry about my handwriting. <laughs> Um, but yeah, basically, uh, we had to make a poster and not use uh, any images or anything like that. It had to be all text. And it was basically to try and differentiate like the main title from like the, the body of text. And um, so I've just, I've just tried it with a bunch of different alignments and stuff like that. And I can see that the, uh, this title at the top is actually quite difficult to read because it's the way it's broken up. Uh, yeah, what top right? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. would, would, is that acceptable? Is it like how does that? Uh, I'd say it's acceptable. Learning? Yeah, I mean, um, with typography, there's rules, but you can break the rules if if you uh, if you want to make it look interesting and stuff like that. It's mm. just about um, uh, being creative and like playing with it and just trying different things. And is this a, this is a piece of artwork yeah yeah this is another poster that we did this is i think the next week um and glengarry glen ross is a, a film and um i was in i was sort of um i was basing it off uh, christopher wall who's like an artist and he does these big stencil like word art uh, paintings yeah. so i just thought i would uh, do something like that and um with this one, I used a bunch of um, like like a grid to to set everything up to try and make it look um, like all aligned and stuff. And then um, after like um, like reviewing it and stuff, uh, I changed it up some more. I mean, and you have to just go down a bit. I will. I, do, do you mind me just dwelling on this for a moment? <laughs> um, I'm just curious. What 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 were the rules? Um, about rules that um, that you had to meet when you were when you were making these posters. Um, Can we just talk a bit about you know um, the, the the kind of things that you were and were not allowed to do, and why? Yeah, um, we weren't allowed to use any images or anything because um, it, I think um, the main aim of it was to make like a a, a a title that um is is like more than just text it becomes an image in its own right sort of thing yeah. and then um, sort of like what typography is about and um, how many typeface sizes oh right okay <laughs> um yeah <laughs> uh, this one i think it was either two or three sizes and then like one color that we could use and so like with limitations and stuff put on you it 
sort of makes it a bit more of a challenge and you sort of have to like think about it a bit more to like make it uh, stand out basically without without just throwing everything at, at the wall and seeing what sticks sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. So th this is a development. Yeah, yeah. This is after looking at it a bit more and um, realised that when, uh, with the last one, all the text was spread out and it sort of made it look really muddled up. But then what I've done here is separated the main body of text from like the title. And by doing that, you're creating like a juxtaposition between um, the body of text, which you want people to read. That's just the information. And then the title, which is like what's drawing you to it in the first place. And, and the title is off the page. It takes it again. It takes some time to read that, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, but with that, I mean, that, that's what uh, Christopher Wall um, hoped for with his work. Like, a quote that he said was like, um, the more you look, the more you look. And, like, it's just the sort of thing that I was going for with it. And I think that kind of balances one of the things that we, we're learning in, in, in that particular exercise and in dealing with managing typography. Because you have... Um, you have this content that that we are as people willing to spend time to try and read like the title like we you know as people we we will spend time trying to work out what that actually says but we won't do that with the body copy will we yeah yeah exactly and so the body copy is set in a very very different way do you want to just mention that maybe well, um, it's set that way to just keep it all contained. Uh, so you've got, uh, so it's very clear where the information is and where the title is, basically. Yeah, great. And do you move this further? Yeah, yeah, I moved it a bit further and added a, a bit more colour because I wanted it to be uh, like green because, I mean, I've not watched the film, but I know about it and like thinking like envy and money and stuff mm. like that. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah, that's that's great. And then we've got this white, which is like popping out, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I preferred that to like the white on black or whatever. And now it's almost like there are levels in yeah. play here. You know, there's something back in the distance, there's something at the foreground, and it's really nice. It, it, it cuts really nicely, I think. Um, how, long, how long did you spend on these? Um, this was like a day's work. So as I said before, we came, we come in on Fridays mm -hmm. and this was like, uh, from the first poster to this one was like from a morning to the, to the evening. And then we, we showed them off to each other basically. And I mean, this is obviously preparing you for dealing with poster work at, with your client. Yeah. Which obviously um, like. You, you have to do that really quickly because you want a <laughs> quick turnover sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely, yeah. And, and, and this, what, what application are you using here? Uh, I used InDesign for this, which is um, it's, uh, in the Adobe suite. Um, it's good for stuff like this where like, we're not using any images or anything, so you yeah. can... Oh, sorry, were you going to say something? No, no. Um, I was just, I was just going to say a, a desktop publishing application. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah. 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 Um, no, no. I, I wasn't. I wasn't going to say anything. Um, but I was. I, I suppose I'm, I am curious whether you'd used it before. Um, no, just on that uh, the previous one that we showed. That was the first time I'd, I'd used InDesign. This is like yeah. my second go. <laughs> it's just a really successful bit of work for somebody who never touched the application before. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> you can take that. You can take that. Should we, um, should we have a look at the, the, sure. the work that you've done here? Because there, to me, there's a, little, there's a similar theme that runs through here um, in the, the work that we, we initially see from both of you two as students um, is pretty polished. You know, the, the, the postcards could be postcards. You know, your, your poster at the top could be a poster and then suddenly we we hit this kind of crazy world um, where you both look to sort of express and answer the brief in a very very physical way 
And I think with yours, we've not got the typography on, on that at that at this point, have we? No, not but yet. There's that similarity, isn't there, between the, between the two of you, which I think, you know, is, um, it's nice to see that, you, you know, you can, you can keep everything in order on the applications, but you can, you can also let rip here. So, again, do, you know, this, this brief has a, co a collection of um, creative starting points, doesn't it? Do you want to just, just yeah, talk about them? Yeah, um, we got given a, um, like, basically, a, like, an A4 about, um, about the Arden and, like, what, what the poster was for. And then it had like a, a tagline of like cabaret with a darker difference. Yeah. And then um, basically from there, I wrote down my, uh, all my initial ideas that I thought with like the, uh, the lines there and stuff. Cause I felt like it was quite like circusy freak showy sort of thing. And then I was, at the same time, just trying to keep everything like focused on the, the main points, which is like cabaret freak show circus stuff and Tim Burton. Yeah. And that P PT. Barnum. Yeah, yeah, P.T. Barnum. He's like a like a circus uh, showman kind of guy. Had yeah, the show. What was that? Had you heard of him before? No. Um, yeah. So when I first got the brief, I was a bit like, uh, <laughs> need to do some research. Yeah. Um, and then this is some um, uh, play that I've done with the title, the, the title of the poster that I'm doing. Like the the title is the Tap Room. So um, I. I use like pencil and then paint there and then further on I use some like wax crayons and stuff to try and get like like sort of like a scratchy scary sort of edgy effect. Um, and I'm assuming you wouldn't take this approach with the uh, body copy? Uh, no no this is this is the way it is because this is going to be like the main graphic other than the image on the page and then this is there to juxtapose with like the, the body of text that are We'll have all the information in it. So kind of going back to what you were saying about almost like typography as illustration. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, this, this like just shows it really, doesn't it? Like this is both, it's, it's a title, but I'm trying to make it almost like an image. Yeah, absolutely. Now we've, I think we've got some really troubling imagery. <laughs> coming haven't we so uh, th this is it's progressing a little further here isn't it now into um yeah um and... yeah I, I latched onto this uh this cabinet of dr caligari it's a film from like a hundred years ago now it's a silent film um it's the it's german expressionism like the same as uh what freya was talking about and like that's what tim burton um it, where he gets a lot of his inspiration and after watching this film you can really see like 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 uh, where he gets it all basically and I thought like I did want to do about the Tim Burton but I want to go back to the source of it a bit more yeah, yes and I, I think that's that's lovely yeah yeah so um this is just a, a few pages I did comparing like the cabinet of Dr Caligari with um with the Tim Burton's work, like that like uses a lot of the same like slanted big windows and, and dark pale characters and stuff like that. And I think I think for creatives, like commercial creatives, it's imperative to be um, prepared to explore the world in which the client wants you to be able to articulate for them visually yeah would you, would you um, agree yeah definitely like it, it it's hot it, it's it's not just like watch some tim burton films you need to like really absorb like everything around it to get like a full picture before you can like put your pencil on paper sort of thing and it feels to me like that goes back to alex's unit as well to the pad unit the research and looking at exploring mm, yeah topics in a different way mm -hmm. and then we've got some some stuff going on here do you want to just yeah um that yeah. um middle image that's from um dr caligari and then um i latched onto it uh, i thought it was like a really cool looking set so i drew it then oh at the bottom that's just like a comparison between uh, that film and the uh, Tim Burton, like it's the same 
sort of style. Um, and then um, like I created this, like that set uh, out of just like A4 paper, glue and, uh, and paint. And uh, I basically used it as like a set to take some pictures in. Wow. It's a crazy world, this one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going for. I wanted it to be like out there, <laughs> a bit nuts. So yeah, I, um, it was paper and I was working in the dark with candles and stuff. I just thought like, oh, I may as well burn them now that I'm done with them. It'll look cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we don't want to talk about the fire hazard. Yeah, uh, I mean... I, you had some water to hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, and and um, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing you feel that in this situation here, you're you're trying to create a, a sort of almost alternate reality, which is yeah. in line with what they're trying to do in the in the in the production. Yeah, um, I was just trying to create a mood more than anything. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, a, chat, a chat's just brought from Katie. Thanks, Katie, saying that would be great to progress into an animation. And we talked about this in the session, didn't we, as well, where it's a stage set. Mm. Um, and you've actually, Jacob, I'm, I'm just going to ask you at this point, if you don't mind. Sure. Um, you come from a much more sort of digital background and web web based applications. And here you are crafting on <laughs> using paper and 2D models. Can yeah. You talk a little bit about but, that progression. Um, well, um, I did IT all through school and just sort of thought that, like, like, I may as well do it and didn't really like do any art, but I've always been creative. Like, I've always like doodled and stuff like that. I've just never like applied it. But now I'm here. It's, it's, um, it's fun, like, being creative and then, like, actually, like, getting something out of it if you know what I mean because like before now it's just been like stupid little doodles and stuff like that but then actually creating something it's I don't know it's just cool. Okay. I suppose you get to bring in that like slightly more you know nerdy technical edge within your typography and you know some of the some of the maybe uh, some of the maybe the more formal setting within the top within the body copy that that will have to sit on a poster like this yeah. Mm. Okay, I think we've come to the end of that. Freya, I've, so, I've, I've not called you in as much as I should have done. I apologise for that. You're still with us, I assume? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, it, it, is, it, it is interesting, isn't it, how we have here um, two separate students with um, two separate pieces of work that both show... Um, and, and, a, and a sort of a ability to put something together that's very convincing from a technical perspective and also um, an ability to to create something that's that's entirely out of your imagination and make it real um, that that wasn't that wasn't deliberate was it I mean that this just happened <laughs> like bringing those two pieces of work you know together the fact that um, the fact that we've got um, Jacob's model and and you went in and and, and took a uh, took a, a a photo shoot, you know that that hasn't been planned in this talk, has it? We haven't deliberately pulled out students. Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> Just <laughs> it's it's interesting. Mm, it's a bit of a surprise, really. I think for you, for you Alex, I don't think you've seen it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I, I just think it's very interesting that that's going on um, and that you're both um, making these, uh, the, these environments and these worlds. Um, well, yeah, it's very handcrafted and organic. Um, you've both took that approach. And when, when we've had a review of the work so far, um, I think you'd agree that each individual's responses to these tasks were so varied. Um, but what's interesting here, what we've got on the table here is we've got like two almost 3D models um, mm. being used for 2D purposes on, on a print based poster. So it's really nice to see you not jumping onto the computer and going digital with it and playing, having fun and experimenting first because we're getting quite original responses here. So well done, guys, at this stage.
I mean, I, I was just going to back, back to you, Alex. I know that you've got a couple of uh, closing questions for the students before we uh, um, just just keep you out of time. Uh, yeah, just just to um, wrap this up, really. Um, obviously, we've only known each other ten to twelve weeks, and we've only actually physically met once at this stage, haven't we? So, you know, this is this is a joy to see you working in this way online for both for two out of um, three of these units. So. You know, well done, um, fantastic achievements so far. Um, so can you just to just to end now, so can you just both tell me what you're liking about the course so far? Um, for me, um, I like that um, our, our class, there's only 10 people in our class. So like um, throughout the week we're online and on Fridays we're in. So like when when we do go into uh, into college like um and we're like doing work and stuff is really like personal and stuff whereas i feel like with the like with my friends who go to uni and stuff and they're in like these massive lecture halls it feels like really impersonal whereas here like i'm I, like i know both the alex's like we're we're getting on well sort of thing whereas like, i feel like that wouldn't be the case uh, otherwise Okay, thanks, Jacob and Freya. Yeah, I, t I totally agree. Same, same with me, but also just how uh, dy dynamic the course is with the different units and how they're approached is. It, it's just I didn't expect it, but I'm, I'm happy that it's a lot about creativity and it's re it's really pushed that um, to us as well to just let let your ideas flow and let them speak for themselves excellent thanks for that guys and yeah i'd, I'd agree it, you know and if you're if you're already thinking in these terms and seeing in these terms we've got another two and a half years to practice this so i'm excited about what's to come as well um and i hope you are too so that's the journey we're on and finally from me um, what advice would you give to somebody thinking about progressing on to a creative course in HE in higher education? Um, I, I'd say from wherever you've come from, don't don't forget the skills that you've learned through any experience and bring everything to the table once you get here because everything's valuable. Have you got maybe a couple of examples, Freya, of what you mean by that? Have you, you know, like what, what skills um, or transferable skills you bring into the table in the HE world that you've already developed? Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, probably just the, the one that comes to my head quick, quickly is, is the photography and how I've, I've done that in the past and I continue to push it now and yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Because we do like to adopt um, a sort of personalised approach and get to know you as individuals and what makes you tick so we can use that as well. And Jacob, same question to you. Have you got one piece of advice? Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, what Freya said about bringing skills with you, that's important. But then at the other end, like when I started, I was worried that everyone would have this like big skill set and I'd have nothing because I hadn't like done it before or anything but like um it, you really don't need to worry about that because from like the very beginning like it you start from like the ground up basically and you, you just build up a, a skill set really quickly like within like a month pretty much thank you thanks guys thank you very much for your time and effort today yes Thank you. And thank you very much, Alex, as well, for um, you know, um, supporting me and the students through this experience as well. Um, I, I, I should point out that the students, you know, they've got other work on and uh, another client project on at the moment with an alumni um, who, who used to work at Ahoy and has been a freelance worker. And uh, he, he's working on a branding unit with them as well so they're pretty busy and uh they to put something like this together to gather the, the bits and pieces and and to go through you know uh, 
how to put that across. It takes time. So thank you very much to the students, particularly. It's a um, big, yeah, they, re they really do a good job. And of course, thanks to Paolo on the door. Uh, I, I would just, I just say that uh, the, uh, our, our links to our course and our Instagram, etc., are in the chat. I think I mentioned that at the beginning. If anybody has any questions that they can um, raise them now, I don't know if we've, we've got anything coming up at the moment, Paolo. I'm just going to continue and just interrupt me if something does come up. But if somebody, if anybody wants to speak, you know, on more of a one-to-one -one basis, we can do that. You, you, I'll just stay in the chat and 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 then. Um, I can, I can talk to you if you'd rather do it like that. We also, uh, we also do visits to institutions, both on Teams, through Teams, and in person. So, you know, we can, I can obviously, you know, um, keep, keep a close eye on what your uh, COVID rules are, and we can discuss that before arrival. But it's a great way to see, you know, I, I, I would always bring a huge amount of students' work to really see it firsthand is, I, I think, uh, quite exciting, especially for, especially for your students to see the work firsthand is always really exciting. But those things can be arranged, and you can easily get in touch with me through the website um, or, or through through the institution. And I think, and, unless we've got can any, I just say, oh, sorry, kind of put in. <laughs> Sorry, Carol, I, I, I wasn't aware. I, I was waiting until it was an appropriate time to blow in. Do, but, yes. you know, Alex and Alex will both tell you that my background is not creative in any way, shape or form, but I'm absolutely bowled over by that, considering that that's only like, what, two months in? And yeah. you, you've, you've, got, you've come so far in two months, it's absolutely awesome. So well done, guys, um, and keep it up. And thanks yeah. to Alex and Alex, of course, for being amazing teachers. <laughs> oh, thank you, Carol. Thank you, Carol. I should say, Carol is our school, is the head of us of, of the school, the BCCI school. So, uh, I was the assistant principal. Uh, so, yeah. Assistant principal, yes. So I'm awful with titles um, and I, <laughs> I risk that later on. But yeah, thank you very much for, uh, uh, you know, we know you're very busy. So, affording your time to sit and, 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 and look at this is, and be with us has been, it's really nice. I didn't know you were there. Right. Um, okay, well, uh, thank you very much. And obviously thank you also to Paolo for being on the door and um, connecting us with what's going on in the outside world of industry. Paolo is uh, very, very central to that and plays a, a massive role in connecting the students with, with what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis through teams and through networking constantly. Uh, if, there are any, if there are any other questions, just please raise them. Otherwise, I'm just mindful of time, want to make sure that we finish on time. So it's, uh, it's just uh, four, four minutes to, so just finishing a little early. Um, thank you very much. And I, I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the talk. And we'll see you at the next one. It will be promoted in the normal way. So thank you very much. And bye bye. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Bye. Students.